Uh, it's a blessing, honestly, man. I've been waiting a long time for this. So I'm just happy to be here, honestly. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's a, a long journey to get here. What do you feel like, you know, that journey did for you to help prepare you for this moment? Uh, I just feel like it helped me mature, um, helped me learn, helped me grow in different aspects in life. So, honestly, it's just overall just a great opportunity to be a better person, a better player at the end of the day. Do you have any specific goals for this week? Just come out here and prove myself. That's it. I just want to come out here and have fun and prove myself, man. Nothing else. I don't want to overthink it or do too much. Is there one particular drill that you're really hoping to nail? And if so, what is it? What's All of them. <laughs> All of them. I feel like uh, I'm doubted a little bit, honestly. So I'm coming in with a chip on my shoulder. I just want to come out here and prove what I can do. Where do you think that doubt comes from? Uh, just the ups and downs that I had at Ohio State. And just my time being there. People don't know. So why not come out and show them? Ohio State has a lot of guys with Have you gotten to talk to anybody who's already in the NFL and what advice have they given you? Uh, I'm talking to a few guys. They, they just say take it one day at a time and enjoy the experience, honestly. Nothing more, nothing less. Have you met with the Bucks yet? Uh, no, I have not. How do you think Ohio State has prepared you for this moment? Everything that you've gone through, how do you feel like it's preparing you for this weekend and basically the rest of your NFL career? Uh, I feel like we practice against the best of the best every day, so it's nothing but competition every time, and that's why I went to Ohio State, to play against the best and be the best. Are you, are you planning to do all the workouts here? Yes, I am. I will. What do you have to say about Coach Walden, Coach Gary, now back at Ohio State, leading PIA? <laughs> how have they impacted you and what uh, Coach Juan, Coach G, man. Coach Juan is my dog, man. That's OG. <laughs> he always has something to say. Uh, he's been through the league. He knows the ins and outs of it. Um, and then Coach G, he's helped me get smarter over time. He knows the game. He's he helped me get on the field, honestly. So I'm just I'm happy to get those. I got to experience those guys and just be there with them and learn from them. So. What does it mean to you to carry PIA? Hey, best in America, man. We got to show that, whether that's in college or in, uh, in the NFL. And then lastly, what does it mean to you to have so many other front guys here performing with you this week and competing? You got Tommy, Steele, Mike, everyone. And like, what does that mean to you that you're competing along with so many of your it means a lot. It means a lot. Um, we've all worked hard to get here. We've all had our ups and our downs. We've all been through a lot, and we're here finally. We had our, had our end goal, so hopefully it's just a great weekend for all of us and we can able to show our talents and show out. A couple years ago, Jeff Hafley was your DC in 2019. What can you tell us about Jeff and, and the passion that he does? For uh, man, I love Coach Hafley. That's one of my favorites. Uh, 2019, he's actually one of the first guys giving my chance. So me and him have been close ever since. And I just love the way he coaches, the way he brings excitement to the game. Oh, for sure, for sure. <laughs> what's what's different about kind of this game that made you guys so good that Um, he just made it easy. He helped us just play fast. It wasn't too much thinking. We were able to be ourselves. He put us in the right spots, and we were just able to go play. You played with a lot of different coaches over six years last State. How do you feel like that kind of helped you? Uh, it helps a lot. I've seen so many different schemes. I've learned so many different things from them. And I mean, a lot of it is the same, but turns may be different, but I've seen a lot, and I know a lot, so I feel like that's helped me over time just mature and grow as a player and learn this game like I wanted to. Do you like all the adversity you had to go through the last day, all those ups and downs have kind of prepared you for the challenge you might face at the next level? Uh, definitely. Uh, I've been through a whole bunch of adversity. Six years at Ohio State, six different coordinators. Uh, so it's a lot. It's a lot, but it's definitely helped me just grow and mature. Uh, thought a lot about this. Uh, I'll probably say Derwin James. He's solid on the sideline. You can put him in the box. He's not afraid to be physical. And he's just all around good safety. Great player. What's the biggest thing you want in the ball team to do about you? Yeah, um, I want to know. I love this game. I have a passion for it. And it's nothing I wouldn't do to step out on that field and give you my all every play. Uh, I think I can do both. There's no nothing I don't think I can do. I can't do, actually. So I feel like I can. You put me in a box, like I said, I'm not scared to go make a play, get in there with the lineman, hit a running back if I need to, and I can run sideline to sideline with receivers. So that's no problem. You feel like you're somebody who was to early on and really find a spot on special 
Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, going through Ohio State, that's what it's just like the league. Like you got to go on special teams to get on the field. And I started on special teams for about four or five years. So it's nothing new to me. I mean, I, I take it, take it as I get it. I'm not going to shy away from anything. I'm just going to take every opportunity that I can to show you that I can. I'm a good team player. <laughs> Um, I definitely say Malik Harford for one, safety, 25, and um, Jermaine Matthews. He got a little bit of playing time last year, but I feel like he's definitely going to show out this year when he gets some more. Um, I think he's going to be okay. Uh, he's a young player. Freshman year is always the toughest that transition coming out of high school. And he was competing with older guys. It's not always easy, but he was still in the conversation. So that tells you a lot about him and the way he goes about his business. What are maybe the biggest things that you would like, tell a young guy starting college football now and all of your journey? Uh, probably the biggest thing is time management and listening to the ones that want to help you, not trying to figure it out on your own. Would you rather have an interception or a big hit? <laughs> hey, whatever helps my team win, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, people that are going to say, you know, oh, you know, you're old for someone who's an NFL draft prospect, do you feel like you can use your age to your advantage in terms of your maturity? I do. Like I said, I've been through so much, so much adversity. It's not like I'm new to this. Uh, I'm used to it. Um, and just maturing over time, I feel like that's able to help me slow the game down and nothing is too fast. I'm able to understand different schemes, understand like what's going on, what the offense wants to give to us. You're playing against so many NFL wide receivers at this point. How does that feel like you, that <laughs> you, you know, with your development and feel like you can do anything you want to do with It's helped dramatically, honestly. Uh, zone six, yeah, practice against zone six. Every day I've seen anybody from Terry McLaurin to Jackson <laughs> to everybody, so it's really it's a it's a blessing in disguise. Honestly, it might be tough in practice, but you get out on the field, you don't see many people much better than all of those guys. Who's the toughest receiver you had to go against? That's a tough one. I used to play some nickels, so I'd probably say uh, definitely had to be Garrett. Definitely had to be Garrett. He's just a dynamic player. He's just a dynamic player. The routes, the way he his speed, his body control, he's hard to guard. Honestly. League is getting a passionate guy who loves football, man, and would do anything to play this game and give my team my all, honestly. It's a blessing, man. It's a blessing. Like, I, I've been here. I've, <sighs> I've wanted this for as long as I can remember, and it's been a lot. It's been a lot over the years, and I'm just happy to be here and show what I can do. That's all I want to do is prove myself right. <laughs> Nothing yet. I'll just, <laughs> just wait and see. But I'm, I'm definitely going to shock some people. Definitely will. That's my plan. Uh, I love it. I love it. Whether I'm close to the line or in the back end, it doesn't matter. I just like to be on that field, give them all. Either one. Either one. I'm a competitive player. I don't like to lose. So you teach me. I'm going to learn it. And I'm going to do my best to try to give you my all. Uh, I like to watch CJ Gardner. I, like, I just like the tenacity he brings to the game. He's going to talk his mess and get after you every play. So I like that. Uh, a little bit, not much. I know those guys are kind of dealing with their, uh, their rookie their rookie wall. It's a little different, so I just kind of let them handle that. But uh, I talked to them a couple of times. Like I said, they just told me to enjoy the process. It was finally here, and I deserved it. So, hey, I'm just going to do that and do my best I can to show what I can do. Uh, 
Um, I've gotten that from every team, honestly. Um, and honestly, it's all praise. There's nothing, nothing bad about it. Um, Ohio State is a place that's kind of hard to get out of. Kind of hard to get out of. You're not just a top guy coming out of there. And just me coming back, I just felt like that was the best decision for me. They helped me grow. And I don't think no other place could do that, honestly. And look, I'm here now, so. <laughs> Uh, honestly, I don't like to think in the past. Um, I was really just wanting to get out there and just prove people wrong and prove myself right. And that was the chip I brought in every game. That's why you saw that passion come out every play, every chance I could get. Uh, I wouldn't say necessarily just one play, but I give you a game was probably Maryland. Like you just felt my heart pour out, uh, pour out that game. What happened on the pick six? That's like a play that should. We can probably look back on that. That's Brock right there. Look back on that play. I definitely that's a good that's a good choice that's a good choice um, but just I saw the running back pop through and they were up I want to say two and they was about to score again coming out of halftime and we was just like we can't let him get in the end zone so once he threw the ball my whole mindset was do not let him catch this ball and I went in to make a tackle I tried to pull up a little bit and I got hit right on the chin to kind of knock myself out but that's definitely one of my plays like I literally give my all give my all for a win and help my teammates win. Uh, just, just the way they learn the game. Like they love the game also. They're always in the film room. They're always studying something, and I caught on to that also. So I was in there watching film with them every chance I could get, and it made the game a lot easier, slowed it down, and helped us perform the way we could. I saw Jim Knowles on your phone. And uh, Sonny's probably going to be a linebacker. He keep putting on some weight. <laughs> but, do you like that friend? I do. I feel like he's comfortable there. He's a physical guy. He's a physical guy. He's smart. He knows the game. He knows everybody's spot on the defense. And I feel like anywhere you can put him, he's going to do good to get the job done. Is that something that you could have done if you if Jim Knowles got there three or four years earlier? Do you think like, you could have put some weight on it slid, slid down the line I think I could. I think I could. I mean, I'm not opposed to it. <laughs> not opposed to it, but uh, I definitely think that would have been something he might have thought of doing, just in case he needed it. Was there ever a moment that you doubted that this moment would come with all the adversity you had? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to lie and say it wasn't. Uh, definitely that 2021 season after I had the leg injury. Um, I didn't feel like I was going to come back like myself. I didn't know like if I was ever going to perform like I could or be myself, honestly. And it took a whole year. It took a whole year to get back to that. But I'm finally here. I finally feel like myself, and I feel good. Do you have any questions about that, like going to medicals about that injury? Oh, yeah, I, didn't, I had all of it. I mean, they know, all my, they know my history at Old State. I mean, they've been watching for more than four or five years. So. I mean, it's nothing new. It's nothing new. They all know my, my problems, but I just want to show them that I'm healthy and I'm ready to compete. Josh, were you shocked that Xavier didn't get the advice? I was. I definitely was. But, I mean, one thing I just tell him is it's all God's plan and it's already written. And they can't take that away from you. Have you talked to him about it? Like, I haven't. I haven't. He definitely should. He definitely should. But. Like I said, it's already written. It's all God's plan. Um, you just got to keep working and trust that he's going to make the best of this opportunity. Yep. He's overcome the odds before, so you know you probably have seen that. Exactly. He came in with me. He's a six-year senior also, so adversity is nothing new to him. He's not going to shy away from it, and I know that. So I'll just tell them be ready for him when he gets to pro day. Being a six-year senior, I mean, would you have guessed like four years ago that you would have been in the NFL <laughs> years already by now? Uh, oh, definitely. I mean, my whole thought process coming out of high school was three and done, and that's everybody's plan coming out of high school. But you know, you never know what's going to happen. You never know what you're going to take away from that stuff. So, 
I'm just excited to be here. When you hear guys come in and they say, like, for the next three, four years, I'll be committing to like, you just, like, laugh at yourself now? I mean, I don't really laugh because, I mean, you never know. I mean, some kids figure it out early, and then some kids figure it out later, and I was one of those kids that figured it out later. I mean, it all just depends on your mindset and how you come into things. How did you think it, you know, helped you grow? You know, two years ago, you went into a year, you're going to be a starter. You get benched and then the bounce back. How did that help you grow? It helped me a lot. It helped me a lot. Uh, in some ways, I felt I needed it. Just kind of that wake-up call. And then in some ways I felt like it was just uh, it was my calling. I mean, just for those young guys, uh, showing them what it is to go through that adversity and help them through those different situations. So I just took the best of that opportunity, whatever came with it, and just put it all in God's hands and worked my, worked my butt off. I mean, zone six is always going to be zone six. It's a reason they come in. That's why those guys are always the top guys coming in uh, every year. And I mean, those young guys definitely got a shot last year, more than most receivers got early in their career. So I'm excited to see what they do this year and uh, so forth.